Today, I want to talk to you about the English singer-songwriter David Bowie. He's one of the most influential、um, musicians of the of the twentieth century. He was born in nineteen forty-seven, and he died in two thousand and sixteen. Now, David Bowie started his career as uh, like um, a children's presenter. Really, he did a few、uh, kiddies songs under the name of David Jones, which was his, his real name. But by the nineteen seven, the mid nineteen seventies, he had changed his name to David Bowie.、Uh, sometimes Bowie, sometimes Bowie. There's a mix. People decide how they want to say it, and he became famous for both his music, which changed styles and.、Uh, Uh, he, he did all sorts of different genres of music, from pop to rock to opera style, all kinds of different types of of music. And he was also famous for different outfits he'd wear.、Um, so all sorts of、uh, of clothes. Sometimes he'd wear clothes that you'd usually see a girl in. Sometimes he'd wear outrageous costumes, and、um, he'd also create、uh, what we call. Characters, alter egos, or characters that he pretended to be. The most famous of those was、uh, one called Ziggy Stardust, and he played、uh, two or three years. He was pretending to be this character, Ziggy Stardust, and、um, we went. Th- we saw about the whole story that that went through of,、uh, of becoming a pop star, becoming famous, and then having a crisis. Probably the most famous song of David Bowie's is one that's called. Space Oddity. Now he wrote this at the time when、um, astronauts were going to the moon, but it's been done, been covered many times, and it's been released several times. Space Oddity tells the story of a man called Major Tom, and Major Tom is an astronaut, and the story takes us. We hear ground control, who are taking care of things on the ground, and Major Tom. Talking to each other over a radio link, it has a very distinctive beginning. Ground control to Major Tom, commencing countdown. Engines on, and it takes us through the story.、Uh, Major Tom tells them about、um, what he can see. Planet Earth is blue, and there's nothing I can do. He says, and、um, something happens on this journey, and. If you ever listen to the song, maybe I'll play it for you、um, afterwards.、Um, it has, it leaves us with Major Tom floating round his tin can, which is how he describes the rocket or the capsule that he is is in. So that's his most famous song. For me, David Bowie's music and his image is something that I've had since my my early teenage years, and. It brings back、uh, when I hear the music. It brings back, brings back memories of those times of talking about the new album when it would come back,、um, when the next album would come out with my friends, listening to it, interpreting it because it's quite complex music. And、um, I also like、um, that that feeling of that music is still with me now. Whenever I'm、uh, a bit stressed out or、um, Feeling like I need something to switch off, I'll I'll sort of put that、uh, a CD on. Or sometimes I've kept、uh, my black vinyl records,、um, the old fashioned type, because sometimes it's just nice to see the the big cover and the big、um, and the the big black disc and see the music on it.、Um, and it's quite.、Um, Quite pleasant to listen to to hear these things, and it brings back the memories. But also, when you hear the songs, you think about them in terms of your own life now. And I was I'm particularly interested in、um, his most his last work. He knew he was dying at the time when he made this, and it's called、um, Dark Star. And as you listen to that album, you start to think about mortality and life and death and and how we we move through things. So that's David Bowie for me. There's for the future. There's not a lot I can do. I can't go and see him anymore. He's not going to make any more records. But maybe I'd like to see what we call a tribute act sometime to see、um, playing some of some of his songs. 
So if you want to find out more about David Bowie, if you if you go to Google, you click the Google something like David Bowie Space Oddity or David Bowie Ziggy Stardust, you'll get images and songs that you can listen to. So um um so any questions for me i'd be happy to uh answer first i've got a couple of questions for you so um first i'll ask um Kath kathy can i ask you a question first yes um do you remember uh david bowie at all any of his songs or much about him i do remember age? watching him on top of the pops singing various of his songs particularly the major tom one um and some of the some of the ziggy sardis because he, I was very taken by the different outfits that he wore. And when you watched him on the telly, you could see these different personas as he chose different clothes, different backgrounds, all of that. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Sophia? Have you heard of David Bowie? Uh, I think I'm... I've heard one song, Major Tom. Oh, yes, the Major Tom song about the... Space. Spaceship one. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and have uh, have you got any questions for me? Maybe you go first, Kathy. Yeah. Uh, what was the first record of David Bowie's that you listened to? I think the first one I listened to was probably a song called Ashes to Ashes. And that's an interesting song because it follows on from Major Tom. Uh, there's a line in it that says, Do you remember a guy who's been in such an earthly song? And it, it follows Major Tom's progress after after he's been in his spaceship. Um, and after I listened to that, I went back and listened to the um, the original Major Tom. Oh, that's interesting. Well, what about you, Sophie? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, do you listen to the new... Music, or did you play the music? Oh, I'm afraid I usually just listen to the music. I did try to learn the guitar once, and uh, I cut me and a couple of friends pretended we were going to be pop stars, but we never, we never really made it. I'm afraid. <laughs> um, okay, no more questions. No. 